Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can control a car by just moving the mobile device from side to side. So let's go. So first of all let's create a new project. I just choose the third person template in this case and switch from desktop to mobile. Let's call this Android test because it has it on Android. So, once we are on the project, we can just add import, add feature or content pack and choose the vehicle pack as well. So, let's switch around in the vehicle example map, delete some player starts here, as well the sedan, like that. And when we now place a player start here, and go to the world settings, put it to none, hit play, we are in the vehicle map with a third person character. So let's place the vehicle inside here, so let's go to the vehicle blueprint, put the sedan right to here. So the idea is that we go as a third person character to the car so that the Control is switching around. So first of all we open up the sedan and what we have to do is we need a trigger that we can activate when we go near to the car. So let's add a box collision here that calls just driver. Put it up to here like that little bit bigger. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So let's duplicate this for the other side. So this will be side. Like that. So next thing is we open up the on begin overlap events for both of these collision boxes and we just will write an um, enter car event, just let's say quick and dirty for the mobile situation. So let's say cars to third person character, copy and paste this. So this will be the other actor in both cases, like that. Then we say get player controller. And now is the part where we can switch the input actions. So we say activate touch, oh, yeah, touch interface like that. And we want the sedan virtual joysticks that comes up with when you import the vehicle template. So on default, of course, it is the default virtual joysticks and in this case the sedan virtual joystick. So let's choose that and in both cases we want to activate this and the target is the get player controller. And of course we want to pose this to car so we need the reference to self because we are on the sedan right at the moment. Put this into on and the get player controller is the target. So one last thing left. We go from the third person character and say destroy actor just quick and dirty so that the third person character disappears. So when we now compile and save this, so let's switch this from the play to mobile preview so that we can take a look how it would be look in the mobile version of this. So we have this controller to move the camera and this one to move the character itself. So when we go next to the car you can see it switched around. But the problem is um, this is the control for the sedan but the control itself just switched from the third person character. So back to here. So we have to switch something up for this. 
we go back to the sedan and what we can do now is we have here the sedan virtual joystick and we click on browse so the content browser is switching to the sedan virtual joysticks let's open this up and what I want to do is that we delete this sidebar here so let's delete this so that we just have the front controller so what we have to do now is we put the x value to 0 put this value to none and put this to gamepad left something epsilon axis and save this when we now hit play we can now walk through the car and we just have this left trigger where we can drive forward and backwards or just stand okay so what we have put inside this one the controls for the moving mobile device so we go to the steering input pull this out here a little bit like that and there's one thing that we need that called gravity and we have the gravity motion events then we have to right click axis value and split structure pin then we put this inside the set steering and the epsilon goes out and we say float defeated by another float put this to 10 and put this into the steering because the axis value is default on 0 when you move it to the left or right it will be 10 or minus 10 depends on the side but and when you want this to the steering because steering goes from 0 1 to plus 1 then you have to defeat it by 10 so compile and save this and now as you can see as in the example here it just works great so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions please hit me now and yeah goodbye